Tourism to Africa is rising and organi organizations like the Africa Travel Association are working hard to sustain this growth by spreading the word about places to visit in Africa. Africa the sword, Africa the sword. The Africa Travel Association is helping grow travel to Africa through its annual U.S. Africa tourism seminars. Now in its fourth year, the seminars are bringing travel industry stakeholders from individuals to companies worldwide together to explore travel industry opportunities, challenges in Africa, and also to form partnerships. Edward Bergman is the ATA executive director. Africa continues to be uh, positioned in the world as a continent of opportunity. So um, we see increase in business investment, increase in travel and tourism, for leisure tourism, and increase in other markets with respect to, to tourism. So as the image of Africa grows, perception continues to improve, and this helps Africa. Promoting Africa is not exclusive to business and travel industry experts. Ambassadors and other high-level African government officials often attend the ATA seminars to also push tourism and investment in their countries. The ATA has partnered with the African Union following a memorandum of understanding they signed at the ATA's 35th Congress in Gambia last year. Amina Salum Ali, the African Union's ambassador to the U.S., says tourism is growing, but there's still challenges. We have problems in infrastructure like air transport, even surface road network, the problem of energy power that's, that connect us and to be able to build the industry. Other groups that have partnered with the organization over the years include South African Airways. The airline's vice president of marketing, Greg Truman, says Africa is a busy route for them, flying nonstop out of New York and Washington daily to various destinations. Americans, when they travel, have a very short period of vacation time. So they want to cram as much into those trips as possible so they can visit two or three different countries in Africa. And we can make that possible and make it palatable and make it easy and make it affordable. And we're going to just do more business. To promote travel to Africa, the ATA also convenes its annual congress in different African countries. The ATA's 36th annual congress is currently underway in Dakar, Senegal. You can travel very easily to Senegal, not only because one can get a visa on arrival, but more importantly, they have air access. So this is something that uh, we, as an association, have been advocating for and continue to support for Africa, increased air access. Ogoso, also nicknamed Mr. Africa, is ATA's diaspora liaison. He says he's been to more than 20 countries with the ATA, but this year's Congress is special because Senegal is his home. I'm going to use this occasion very to also to call the whole African diaspora in USA, Europe, Asia, everywhere, to come with us to celebrate Africa, to celebrate Senegal. In terms of uh, cultural tourism, Senegal is unique in the continent. Amina Salum Ali of the African Union says tourism to Africa could really help boost economic growth. This is the time to look for partnership for both the private sector and organization because tourism is going to be the final, final point for development. It's going to give us a lot of uh, revenue. Margaret Makungo is with the Zambian Embassy and has been promoting tourism to her country for years. She says Zambia is close to reaching its target of 60,000 tourists annually. The tour operators and the travel agents, they do interface with the public. So we work through them. We took them to Zambia on farm trips and the press, we have taken them to Zambia also on press trips so that they can tell the story of Zambia, the real Africa. Zambia, the home of the mighty Victoria Falls. Zambia with fantastic people, a very friendly people, a very peaceful destination. That's who we are.